Alright guys, welcome back to Blue Collar Bassin TV. And on today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to cast a spinning combo. So stay tuned. Guys, if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. That way you can stay tuned when I roll out more videos. Also hit that notification bell and the like button. Help us out, help us grow this channel. All right, today guys, just like the description said, I'm gonna show you how to cast a spinning rod. Okay, a lot of times when you're just starting out fishing, things like that, you might opt for a spinning combo over, let's say a bait caster or a spin cast rod. Okay, and there's a lot of reasons for that. This is typically regarded as a easier rod reel combo to cast. And it, it really is a little bit, but it's not that much difference, okay? So if you're worried about casting a bait caster, guys, it just takes a little practice, just like anything else in life. It takes a little practice to get used to. Okay, with the spinning combo, some advantages that we have and why we might opt for this over a bait caster is things such as, you know, finesse techniques which is when you know the bite's tough, you're not able to get those fish with a reaction strike, things like that. You might opt for like a worm or a trick worm, maybe a Ned rig, a drop shot, things like that that we can achieve better with a spinning combo. Okay guys, and just a, a tip for you, go ahead and put yourself some braid on your spinning combo. It's gonna help out tremendously. And guys, you're not gonna be fighting with your monofilament or your fluorocarbon line out on the water okay it can make a miserable day i promise you guys go ahead and switch over to that braid okay that's that's the first tip right there you have to do it all right I strongly suggest all right but back to um the techniques that you can use with this okay it's going to be used for when the bite's tough a lot of times okay um a lot of people think that a spinning combo isn't as accurate casting wise as a bait caster and it's it, it can be but a lot of times it's not because with a bait caster you can control everything with your thumb guys with this once you release it you really don't have any control of how far it goes unless you go ahead and flip this bail over or if your reel has the function where you can just go ahead and actuate the handle to reset the bail that can stop the line in air but a lot of times guys if you do that it's just gonna splash in the water okay so that's where a bait caster can shine over a spinning combo but a lot of times guys if you're flipping and pitching these soft baits and casting the soft baits um, that are really light and weight a lot of times you can't do that with a bait caster guys so that's where you want to go ahead and grab your spinning combo so guys today i'm going to show you some different techniques that you can use when casting your spinning combo okay and to get started you have to grab the line with your finger, okay? You're gonna have your hand positioned. I like to go ahead and put the, the base of the reel here between my pinky and my ring finger, okay? Just like that, okay? I have my pointer finger up here where I can grab this line. If you can see it, I'm grabbing the line with my finger and I'm just holding it right there. At this point, you can go ahead and flip the bail over. That way you can let the line peel off the reel Okay, that's what holds it in place is the bail. Okay, and then once I have that, I can go ahead and grab the butt stock or the butt section of the rod. Okay, when I'm in my back cast, once it goes forward, that's when I'm releasing the line with my finger. Okay, just like that. Okay, I'm releasing it. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and reel that back in. And guys, check out my bait, how to cast a bait caster video if you haven't already. It has pretty much the same techniques that you can use to casting uh, the bait caster as you do the spinning rod, okay? So I'm gonna show you that one more time. I'm just gonna grab the butt section of the rod. I have my finger on the line. Okay, I'm just gonna cast it. Okay, and I'm just releasing that line when I release uh, the rod forward, okay? Reset the bail. And you're able to fish. Okay, the next technique you can use is a side cast. That was an overhead cast that I just did. A side cast is where you're going to bring it to the side like this. Okay, guys, and this is very useful when 
uh, you want to get a little bit more whip maybe you have to go under some cover from the side and this is going to be easier for you than just going over overhead cast overhead cast is difficult if you got trees and stuff above you right, so side cast whipping it out there just like that guys Okay, I don't hear a uh, talk of this a lot, but you can pitch with your spinning combo, okay? The same technique that we use to uh, do the overhead cast and the side cast, you can do for flipping and pitching. Okay, once again, watch that bait cast, how to cast a bait caster video. And it's gonna show you, you wanna hold your bait in one hand, rod and reel in the other. Okay, you still have your finger on the line. Okay, and I'm gonna hold that bait I'm pointing the rod towards the ground. And what I'm gonna do is use the momentum of the rod to sling this bait forward. And I'm just slinging it forward, guys. It's really simple. All right, guys, once again, I'm getting the bait level with the reel, or you can go as far down as the butt section of the rod. Go ahead and release the bail. And all I'm doing is pointing the rod at the ground once again, and I'm using this motion right here to whip the bait forward. Yeah, I'm just flinging it forward. Guys, if you're fishing off of because if you're fishing off a boat and you don't want to constantly have to grab the bait with your hand, you can still fling it forward by just leaving a little bit of line hanging down, three or four feet. And I'm just, once again, just kind of flinging it forward. And guys, with that, you can have a lot of accuracy, and especially with weightless Texas rigs or weighted Texas rigs like this with a bullet weight. You're going to achieve some really good accuracy, I promise. All right, guys, if you like this video on how to cast a spinning combo or a spinning rod and reel, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Become a member of the Blue Collar Bass and TV family. And guys, hit that notification bell. That'll keep you informed when I'm rolling out new content each and every week. And guys, if you have any questions about how to cast a spinning combo, uh, go ahead and put those in the comment box below. And guys, please stay tuned for that next video.